Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be presenting JBrowse 2, a data visualization platform with special features for comparative genomics and structural variant visualization. This will be a lightning talk, so it'll move pretty quickly. To begin with, what is JBrowse 2? At its core, it has a fully featured genome browser with support for many common track types and file types. An important aspect of this, though, is that its components can be reused. So for example, we created a Synteny view, which has a fully featured genome browser as its top and bottom panels. We also have other types of composite views, such as our SB inspector, which shows a circular whole genome overview of structural variant events, plus a list of those events on the left-hand side. Another important aspect of JBrowse 2 is that it's highly extensible, so that plugin developers can create entirely new view types, track types, or data adapters. So, for example, this screenshot shows a multiple sequence alignment viewer, which was developed as a plugin fully outside of the JBrowse 2 codebase. One of the important aims of JBrowse 2 is to visualize Synteny data. This demonstration shows an alignment between two yeast strains, and in the dot plot view, you can see that by clicking and dragging a certain area, it gives you a menu option to open a linear version of this view, and this is popped open below. This is an important concept because it shows that the same data sets can be displayed in different contexts. There are other examples of this, for example, a VCF track of structural variants can be displayed in a circular view. Another goal of JBrowse 2 is for visualizing structural variants. There's a lot of different types of structural variants, and each one can have different considerations. In this example, we have a deletion that's shown using some cool features of our alignments track. We have the ability to sort and color by different BAM or CRAM tags, and in this example, it's sorted and colored by the haplotype tag, which shows that the deletion only appears in this haplotype. We also have some special features for drawing insertions. When there are long reads and a long insertion, these are drawn with a larger purple indicator. If you have short reads that don't fully span the insertion, you can turn on Show Soft Clip Bases, which elucidates the insertion boundaries. We also have the ability to draw whole genomes at a single time on the linear genome view, which helps draw, for example, a whole genome CMV profile from a sim simple bigwig track. Another thing that we can do is draw interchromosomal translocations. This example shows chromosome 1 fused to chromosome 5 using the read evidence of split alignments drawn using black curve lines. We can also visualize SVs using Synteny style views. For example, if we compare a read versus the reference of a read that contains a large insertion, we can see that it contains the bases on the bottom that are not in the reference genome. We can open this also in a dot plot context, and we can also see really complex interchromosomal translocations where the read is split aligned to, in this example, chromosome 12, X, and 1. We have tons of cool features that have been released already, such as drawing methylation directly from nanopore reads, visualizing high C tracks, doing SVG exports of our data sets, and even having an in-app plugin store where you can install user-contributed plugins with the click of a button. So with that, I'd like to summarize that JBrowse 2 is an advanced genome browser and data visualization platform with specialized features for SV and Synteny visualization. We're releasing a desktop version of JBrowse 2 later this year, and we encourage mod admins and developers to try it out. Thank you so much to the team, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.